Hello there. How's everyone doing tonight? It's me, Ghostwolf Alpha, back again with another stream tonight. Today is Monday, May 6th of 2024. And you know what that means tonight? Tonight is Paltech Advanced 3062. Where we left off, um, um, our good friend Lord, uh, whatever his name is, all the, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, got captured by, by captured by the, um, just got captured. So now we're gonna have, now we're gonna try to power through the rest of the campaign here. If I remember correctly, we got three missions left. Um, sorry about the ums. It's the Tirlon, Tirlon, and the two Cormadier missions left. And I think that'll, I think that'll take up most, of, most of the time. Maybe I'm uncertain about that. We'll find out once we get there. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Okay, there. Game's up. And I'll get the music going in a minute. Okay, let's begin this. Come on, game. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Game has to think about it, I see. Okay. Director's last stronghold on the way to Cormadier. Oh, I forgot to do some repair work. Shit. Well, we're going to go to the mech bay. While I'm while the mech bay is loading up, I'm gonna start. Gonna play some music. Let's go with. Let's go with synth wave. Okay, what? Yeah, I forgot to fix things up. Oops. Let's repair all. Okay, let's... Get that Artemis in. Or not Artemis, that... Medium Pulse Laser, LRM-20, and the Artemis. That was a clan LRM. Clan medium pulse. Artemis. I need to add in two more double heat sinks. Okay, now command console and a comm suite. Should have a command console. I could be wrong. Nope, I do. And now for the comm suite. Do we have one, or... Yes, we do. The last one. Perfect. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. I'll refit you in a second. And that royal thug got really wrecked last time. Now we're gonna have to. 
Okay, let's go with the clan engine. I have to do the em Hey Yoza, how are you doing? I'll answer your and also, also I'll be answering any lore questions in a tiny bit. I right now want to get this taken care of. The um this mech anyway. And get into into a game. Oh shit. Don't have any MRM thirties anymore, the clan ones that is. Okay, ten versus seven point five. Ooh. That's not good. Well, let's use use the forties. Where is the go? Now let's get that Apollo th get the last Apollo attachment in. And add the ammo for it. Which I don't have. It's not one thing, it's another. Let's just remove the Apollo at along with the ammo for it. Put in just standard MRM ammo. Oh no, this is Baltic Advanced 362. Right, I, right now I know my computer cannot handle um, rogue tech, mainly because um, I, A, I don't ha I don't think I have enough room for it, and B, it's because I have have a low-end graphics card. I it's a two gigabyte one. I'd rather um, I'd rather wait till um, I get myself a better get my hands on a better graphics card for it. And now for the engine core. What was the default for this engine core? Um, 320. Let's try a 300. Okay. That's good. That's real good. Actually, can I go up? Yeah, that's that's even better. Now, I'm gonna need to get, get this cooled down well enough. Put exchanger in the head, and I got room for some act some clan heat sinks into the lake. They go. Oh, I just realized something. I need something to protect the protect the mech itself. Uh, you can still play it. It's just a case of you'd be missing out a lot on a lot of stuff. Okay, where's the shields? There we go. Got three tons left. I could put. I'll put two. Actually, where's the heat engine heat sink? It's there. Okay, one ton left, and that'll be going towards one more heat sink. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Yeah, that's understandable, Yoza. And let's refit that king crab. What's wrong on you? Unusable cluster ammo. Okay, cluster, cluster, cluster. Oh, I got an LBX-10 shoved in there. That's... that's not... Yeah, 
Yeah, oh, it's a case of I had some mechs that I forgot to fix up. That would be seven. Double check the ammo real quick. Do I have... Um, wrong, wrong, wrong. LBX. Oh, there's the LBX. LBX 20 cluster, not LBX 10, LBX 20. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. And we're all set on this, I believe. Okay. Well, we got Archangel now. The hiring hall, that is. I'm right now waiting for my atlas to get done before we launch. There we go. And also we'll get Archangel while we're at it. New mech warriors available. Yeah, it was a case of I forgot to... I basically let this, let this set aside and... Well, this is a result. I had to start, had to fix things up. Come on, all you move over. Where is that? There's the real Warhammer. And who did I have in it? Was it Succubus? Uh, yeah, Succubus, I believe. And now we're doing that. We're on the attack. Uh, what else? What else? The coil. Game the meat grinder sub usually meat grinder machine guns. I'm trying to figure out what mechs I'm gonna need because I can't remember this mission in particular. Let's go with there. That's perfect. Tex, you're up. And who do I usually have the co in the coital? Uh, let's just have Glitch in the coital. And finally... Let's just put you in the Centurion. Sure, it's not your... Not your, um, Thunderbolt, but hey. Anyway... While we're waiting for... The deploy for it to deploy. I'll answer any lore questions you have, might have. Because I know you, I know you, Yosa in particular, submitted a question um on on my Discord, and it is this: after the clan invasion and after clan tech started becoming more common throughout the inner sphere. Are there still people looking for Lost Tech at Starleak Era Ruins? Um, and to that answer is yes, because there's still plenty of plenty of Lost Tech out there. It's usually a, it's a case of we're gonna have to go find it because while while 
the inner sphere lost certain things, um, t tech wise, that is. The clans also lo um, themselves lost certain things, mainly because it was basically no use to them. Uh oh. Hello? Game? Computer? Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, were you able to hear me, Yoza? One second. Okay, I think we're good. I'm uncertain, though. Test, test. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. Ugh. Game decide say the game decided to suck up as much CPU stuff as possible. Okay, yo okay, there we go. Anyway, to explain things, Yoza, um yeah um while while the clans of that in a van Ad advanced in many ways they also they also stagnated and lost certain things at the same time um yeah it's, yeah I'm probably might be a little bit delayed no clue what cause is causing that but hey Yeah, as I was saying, they stagnant. They um, in other places, they basically had their own version of lost tech. Ooh, that's not good. And I have no clue how to fix that other than restarting the stream, which I'm not going to be doing. Okay, Commander, we're making a push on the Directorate's primary shipyard. If our attack is successful, what's left of my uncle's feet will be rendered, rendered useless. But we're going to need your help. The shipyard is protected by enormous gun batteries that draw their power from, generator, from the generators in front of you. I need you to destroy these genera those generators before our dropships enter their weapons range. There are three generators designated Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie, take out all three structures, mop up any surviving directed units, and our dropship fleet will be cleared to handle the rest. Go take out those generators, Commander, and do it quickly. Our entire plan falls apart if those guns stay online. Okay, that spider's a directorate prototype specially modified to serve as a forward observer. 
I've heard stories about these. They can fight, but their primary function is marking targets for artillery bombardment. Okay, that's not good. Keep your eyes open, boss. The director has too much valuable hardware out there to risk firing their artillery blind. If you can destroy all those, all the Ford observers, it should stop them from calling out any future artillery strikes. But be careful, any targets they've already marked will still be in danger of bombardment. Okay, let's... I'm just gonna... Reserve down to one. Because I want to get... Got something you want done? Get those LA... Get those land air mechs going. Have them start fu oh, destroying those generators. Come on. And now it's the cal- there we go, it's calculating. Okay, we got a Jenner. A spotter. Quick draw. Some turrets. Oh, my as Okay. Fire one bunker buster at it. I'm out of long range missiles. Okay, Yosa, welcome back. Standing by. Ooh, that's not good. We'll go. You know, those death rays should be able to take care of that. Roger that. If they actually hit, what the heck was that? <laughs> yes, Commander. Bunny here. Shooting static target. <laughs> you know, it's sad that the that the urban mech that's flying has better. Who's a was able to hit the thing, and you had two big guns on the arms with high percentage of hitting, and you missed both times. Ah, oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Oh, I don't like going fast. It's scary. Come on, let me sprint. I got it. Don't think, don't shoot, just run. Now, let's see if we can hit the generator. On the trigger. Mm -hmm. That's one generator down. You've got two more to go. Keep fighting. At least it also takes out the turrets, also. What 
What's up, boss? Turn on the avionics. Set up for sprinting. Or as I say, high-powered maneuvers. <laughs> Let's do a sensor lock on that spider. Sensor's locked on. I'm here. Come on. There we go. Acknowledged. Okay, yeah, okay, it's gonna hit that if I do fire, but I might as well take a risk. Yeah, I was gonna miss most really. It's right now a case of hurry up and wait. Because they have a whole bunch of stuff they have to move right this second. Duncan Fisher here. Okay, I'll have a better chance to hit that quick draw. Lighting them up! Oh, I do have myself a good question that that I should ask um Bloody Doves um next time I'm on on his on his stream. Is he gonna change up or change up the bull bull sharks um on his stream? Is that not on his stream on BTA or is he just gonna add them along and to go with? with what we have um, already for bull sharks. Ooh. Yeah, there are several games that don't like alt-tabbing. Source Games is one of them. I'm talking about 
the Source Engine games. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Okay, come on, calculate. Probably might hit someone, probably might not. Turn on the fire control system, turn off those. Let's take the risk. Okay, and they all, all three that I set up hit. Nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, DirectX 9. Yeah, back... Yeah, I remember having to install that for MechWarrior 2. It, ca it came bundled with it, also. I forgot what version it was. 3, maybe? I have no clue what version Direct X is Direct X is on now. Actually actually while I'm at it, I'll look it up. My turn right now, and it's the last waiting on you, Commander. Pilot. Okay, have to wait. Come on. There we go. Continue calculating. Perfect. Uh huh. Target. Not really that much of a difference, but hey. Let's take the risk here. Getting pretty hot in here, Commander. Okay. Running too hot. Gotta shut down. And while the while they finish up the last of their stuff, I'll continue looking here. Yeah, it's up to Direct X twelve. That's Incoming the last. Fire. That was the last stable release, which was two years ago. Good to go, boss. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Which one would be a better... Nice one. Gun! 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 Oh. 
Okay, we're having some frame issue. Give me one second. Let's... Come on. I'll go to advanced, duh. Second. Hey, knock it off. Hey, be glad it's just an arm. It's not your primary weapon. Although, although I just realized it's ju I have it, it. That was just a thing. <sighs> but yeah, when anyway, back to Direct X. Currently, we're at it is Direct X Twelve Ultimate, which came out in March of twenty twenty. And it's, well, the last stable release was October 5th, 2021, so it's almost three years old. Old for a stable, stable release. But when it f came out the f for the first stable thing, um, it came out in... In 1995, with with, of course, Windows 95 uh, and upward and onward. Oh, how the kind of you to hop down here. It'll make it easier for me to... to, to fire at you, you frickin' spider. Oh, there's the other one. Really make it easier for me. Duncan Fisher here. Heading that way. Lining them up. <laughs> Let's go wild, folks. Okay, we take out that one. Oh, getting hot in here. Ah, 
Oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Just to help take out the that spotter. I press the button. Cause we need to take off evasion off of that. Anyway, um, let me bring up Sarna real quick. I'm getting all shot up, Commander. I kind of noticed that. Now for you, right here. Mm-hmm. All in air. Let's take a risk here. Hit to the leg and to the head. Lovely. Yes, Commander. Okay, I'm right now plenty over. Just move on up. my way. And it'd be better to hit the quick draw right now. Ooh. Um they use stone cold. Copy that. Ooh. Reporting critical hit. Side torso. Taking heat damage. That was a nice hit, though. Yes, Commander. Roger. I'm out of LRM. It's good to go. Fire at you. Target acquired. Hit him hard. I think I hit something good. Oh, you hit something good, all right. Destroyed its arm. Is it? Is it? Um. Aside from certain certain versions of spiders, basically, sp the arms of the spider just simply welded on. I <laughs> will be done. Roger that. Let's try to take down that flanker Fire. here.
Okay, at least the side torso is open. That's perfect. I'm out of the firing zone. And that Jenner just got annihilated. I'm on the clock. What do you want? How big of no, not a bad risk at all. Let's see if I'm sober enough to line this up. Well, that was close. Good to go, boss. And nice hit to the back. We'll just take care of you out. Gun, gun, gun. Perfect. Mechwarrior down. Repeat, we have a Mechwarrior down. Our land's integrity is compromised. Requesting support. Good to go. That's perfect, got some cover and all that fun stuff. All weapons are go! Oop. Duncan Fisher here! Heading that way! Just double check, oh that's just a turret. Lighting them up! Getting hot in here! Okay, well, the enemy's taking its turn. I'll do a little bit more of an in-depth talk on lo on Lost Tech. Yeah, um, yeah, as basically a defining aspect besides um, everything being lost during the fighting of the Succession Wars. Um, it's basically if Lost Tech cannot be produced anymore under current tech levels, except occasionally by automated facilities, which are also lost tech in of themselves. Which, of course, that's what you get for when you bomb yourself down down to Stone Age. Ah, oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Oh, I don't like going fast. It's scary. So, 
basically the working principles of it is I broke him uh, like my is hip. the items are not even understood in, anymore and the secret of their production is lost okay let me commander don't don't you sass me Well, I'll explain more on the clanners in a minute. This is everything I got. That one's done for. Okay, while well that while well they do their thing, and basically, so it became more of a or say more of a growing problem when more and more vital industries, including automatic automatic automated factories, collapsed from maintenance shortfalls, or for simply a case of lack of spare parts, and so Lost Tech kept um was able to keep going through imp. Improvisation, just to keep any of it working at all. Um, let me get back to this, and then we'll continue. I copy. And you shade. I'm waiting for orders. Get up there. This is one thing I do like about LAM. LAMs. You don't have to figure really figure out. Do I have to be fast or what? Affirm. I'm out of long-range missiles. Okay, and to continue on, basically we've gotten the um, people decide to preserve Lost Tech. Um, Com start performing the ho the Operation Holy Shroud. Waiting for orders. Let me get my Going my mech up here. Bye bye, Striker One. Roger that. Striker Mark One. Anyway, so it, so that so they start preserving Lost Tech. Hope we can salvage that. It's like, in s such complex systems like Battlemechs start becoming also Lost Tech. Yeah, and in order for, ah, one second, have to move. Commander. Can't really move, but I can fire, though, I believe. And I'll just fire one of them. Target locked. We got a number with the server down. They're tearing us apart out here. Wheels are damn back up. Anyway. Since I'm on the clock. Power to sprint. Oh, perfect. I'll discuss more in a second here. Um, so an aggravating thing was be was with Operation Holy Shroud. Basically, they um, Comstar squashed any technological advancements. Because, what? Because hey, let's uh, let's keep everyone de uh, everyone down. Oh. 
Um, but but there but there were groups like the and like the New Avalon Institute of Science that basically basically is a case of we we still we want to get technology back go, up, so let's try to figure things out. And then, of course, the major thing was the Helm Memory Core. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. So all that stuff that that got lost, like Feral Fibrous Armor, got remade. So it got rediscovered and acted like how to make it. And I'll discuss more after the ad break is over in a minute. Or see, once the ads are over, since Commander? they're going to be starting in a minute. Duncan Fisher here. Heading that way. Active in flight. Also, while the ads are going to be playing, I'm going to swap up the music. I am not really feeling synthwave right this second. Let's go with 2000's rock anthems. God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Let's... Let's move here. Oh, I don't like going fast. It's scary. Uh, you'd rather want to go faster, Grandpa, because... You don't want to get hit by the artillery fire. Oh, look, I can see through them. Ah, so close. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good to go. Acknowledged. Thank you, thank you, um, Lady Orano, for telling me that. Like I did not know that. Anyway, standing by. I was going to take a little bit more, but I was wrong. Flatten that one. Okay, that's... One second. <coughs> that's last of, the generator, last of the generators. Good job, Commander. The ground batteries are down, and our dropships are cleared to attack the shipyard. Up up any remaining hostiles, and I'll send Sumeri to extract you. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got ourselves 
a spotter, which is useless, a trebuchet, a Jaeger mech, and a 45 ton of unknown or of unknown design. Awaiting orders. Keeping it cool. I'm gonna reserve reserve my stuff down to one. Actually, I'll brace everyone else. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. And I'll continue on. Um, and with the with the Hell Memory Corps, basically they were getting back up to Star League. Then the clan invasion happened, and so they were able to also study clan tech and the advances from that. Basically, um. Um, by the 3060s, like where where um, BTA has taken place, industry has basically re-established their technological knowledge base that approximate to the technological state of Star League. Hero, one second, I need to blow a nose. Sorry about that. I honestly thought it muted. Oh. Oh. Allergies, am I right? Oh, good. Path is cleared up. Anyway. I turn. Bunny here. Perfect. Sprinting. Uh, let's. Okay, it's a vindicator. Let's shoot at the back of the vindicator here because I really don't need that. Time to give him the thunder bunny. Anyway. Yeah, um... Basically, what ha what also happened was is th uh, through the thoroughly ramshackle state, state of, a of alien industries, the required knowledge was lagging behind the technological improvements. Still, the clans had roughly two centuries of technological advancements over the inner sphere. And with the jihad, basically the lost tech pen, pe um, pendulum swung backwards. From recovery to losing stuff. All because they decided to bomb fac- oh, she started using bombs, or orbital bombardments, weapons of mass destruction, and all that fun stuff. And of course, um, the Dark Age with the HPG um, being taken- HPG network being more or less majorly tripled, um, also swung things back even further. Warning. Armor Hence why it's also known as the Dark Age. Good to go. Right, Commander. Okay, let's see if we can try to go for headshot on you. Affirmative. And instead, that was the center torso. Duncan Fisher here.
Heading that way! Let's just point blank at... Perfect! Mech destroyed! Oh, getting hot in here. Yeah, that's what happens when you fire a lot of clan tech weaponry at oh, once. Oh god, I was sleeping. What do you want? We Now let's Let's just fire everything at the center torso on that. Oh, I corked out the engine. Wow, he fell down like I do. Sweet. I think I can work with that. I'm listening. Yeah, I know you're listening. Move here. Uh-huh. And let's see if we could hit the center torso on you. Guns. You have. You had more firepower when you were further out, and instead you decided to get into armor, close buddy. range? Oh, I took a heavy hit there! Aye, aye. Roger that. That's. Do precision strike. And fire both of those. Enemy outflanked. Bringing the pain. Enemy down. The heat is frying my internals. Kinda guess that. Let's only use one alarm ten. Locked on. Okay, it just took out the center door, so. Okay, nicely done, Commander. The enemy has been vanquished and Terleon is ours. Now there's nothing less between nothing left between us and Cormadier. I'll drink to that hell, well, we all will. We got a keg of Timbiki Dark waiting in the Ar Argos Gallery. The Argos Galley, and it feels good. It's time to crack it open. When we get back home, we're celebrating at Drinks on Me. Mission successful. Well, at least we also avoided being also avoided the artillery fire. Which I think, which is always a good thing. Though I wish the artillery on that was instead of those hex hex grids, it was circles. That would have been a bit more interesting. But hey, game limitation. Okay, everyone's all right. Oh, they modify that bit. I see. Might as well take the spider also.
And I got everything except two SRM6s. Nice. <laughs> Okay, we got two more missions left. It's that upload one. There's a upload the Lacura and the th and that final arena match. And in that match, I'm not bringing all my mechs. I'm just bringing I'm bringing base. I'm bringing Kamea plus four others, which includes me in that in the four. Okay, what do we got for loot? Cash payment, X pulses, two light engines, a royal champion part, two Thunderbolt tens, two light auto cannon fives, two AMS. Yeah, that that seems about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, armistice. Okay, this message is for High Lady Kamea Oranov of the Oregon Reach. I am Alina, Alina, uh, Alina uh, Marzal Chaplin, personal attaché to Protector Thomas Calderon of the Torian Concordant. The Torian Ministry of Intelligence has confirmed the authenticity of the evidence that you sent us. We have our thanks. Um, it would seem that your uncle's duplicity, duplicity has left a, its mark on all of us. Uh, wherever you are, well, act, well, this does sound promising. Wherever you are, Lord Madeira, thank you. Our ambassadors have been in communication with the representative of the, Fed, of the Federated Sons. They are negotiating a de-escalation of force along our shared border. All cooperation between the Tarian Concordat and the Directorate has been officially terminated. We have also withdrawn our fleet, and Director Santiago Espinosa has been recognized as an enemy of the Tarian state. Should he ever dare to leave Oregon space, he will have us to contend with. Finally, I will personally review your reports of Tarian war crimes in the Reach. If I find them credible, I will hold Commodore Ostergaard accountable for his ac actions upon his return. If what you told me is true, he will stand before a firing squad. You have my word. With that, our business is concluded. Be well, Lady Orano. Protector Calderon wishes you success in your campaign to come. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't bet on any sort of lasting peace between the Torians of the Federation. They'll likely lapse back into a Cold War. Yeah, that one will flare up hot again as soon as either side gets jumpy. Still, for the time being, I'll take what we could get. What I could get. I'm with you there, Yang. Lady Arano, I, th I think that congratulations are in order. With Tyrion liberated and the Torians out of the war, there's nothing less left between us and the throne. Okay, they still have one card left to play. They have Lord Madeira. Um, when we move on Cormadeira, I will negotiate for his release, but first I must rally the Founding Houses. When I travel to Cormadeira, it'll be with all of our allies and their armies at my back. I want the throne world skies crowded with our dropships. What about the people there? When your invasion fleet touches down, you'll have their su will you have their support? Okay, yeah, yes I will. Even vic every victory we've won has shaken the their support of my uncle. His popularity as the leader is shattered, and when the time comes to evade, the majority will sh will side with us. With our fleet filling the skies and our supporters in the streets, my message will be unmistakable. If it were my uncle looks, he will see the Arano, um, basically the symbol of my house and of our unshakable resolve. I can't pronounce that word. Comorant? Um, anyway. Anyway, sounds like a plan. We'll be waiting for your call. Good. Director Espinosa will see our strength and the strength of our fleet, of our unity, and of our, and of the loyalty, loyalty of our people. He will return Lord Madeira to us, or we will destroy him utterly. 
Be ready for my summons, Ghost Wolf. It's long past time for us to bring the war to a close. I agree. I kept having to, I keep having to leave leave um your space in order to get stuff to help fix in order, in order to do better. Now let's go to the com command center. Um, actually, no, Mech Bay first. Fix up the coital. This thing just keeps losing arms. <laughs> I swear, there's a. I swear, in my Mech Bay, there's a bucket full of arms for the coital, especially since I have them all set for five, five points of armor. <laughs> You know when that's done. Meanwhile, Yanks yell out, Bring the bucket! <laughs> Let's increase um, drop All tonnage. Right. I'll get the team on it right away. And let's travel to Gormadir. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. Because I think by the time we get there, it will kick off. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Yeah, spending more than I'm earning. Got buy, got four more months before I'm out of money. I think I'm gonna have to have to do a little bit of selling of stuff. We'll do that once we get to Cormadier. Everything's all pa patched up. Let's go to the mech bay real quick. Go to storage. Yeah, we got a whole, whole bunch of mechs I need to sell. And build up. Build up and sell. How's that? First, I need to make some... Make some room. I'm not really using that sun spider, so... Into storage you go. And that axe man. Get the rampage. That mech you wanted is back online. The oh, what do you have on here? That's my that question. Is cleared for fighting. Oh, it's the AP Gauss one. Um, back to storage you go. Um, anything interesting on you? Not really, so you go to storage. Um... Okay, now... I wanna get that Marauder 1R all set up. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Got some carriers I can 
assemble. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Anything in the medium bracket that I'm interested? Oh yeah, that that trebuchet and that vindicator. To be honest. Uh, let's go with the trebuchet. Really don't feel like going down here to assemble lighter mechs. Jay, the light mechs. We'll work on these two in a minute. That work order is complete, boss. Thank Top you. Work, if I may say so. And we're here. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. It's the store. Come on, open up the store, please. Thank you. Okay, so I've been not using that axe, man. Sell that. I'll sell the Battle Master. Um, I'm going to keep that. Actually, no, sell the Blood Asp C. Actually, no. Bad idea, bad idea. I'm gonna sell that Centurion. The Crusader. Now the Enforcer. Keep the Imp. Keep the Ironclad because I'm gonna be... I think I'm gonna break that back out. Keep the Omni Mech Gum King Crab. Sorry, I'm I'm umming a lot for some reason reason. Ow. Could get rid of the Kodiak here. Don't really need that. Got the Omni Mech version. Keep that Night Star. Keep the Osprey. Sell the Rampage. Keep the Timberwolf. Mm. Sell the Vision Quest. That's really all I need. Got ourselves plenty of... Plenty of stuff. Okay, let's view it from the observation deck. Oh. And the flashpoint's now available. Good. Ah, Kamea, welcome home. We haven't spoken face to face since your father's funeral. Strange, isn't it? For all this time we've been fighting each other, all for our struggles that we've never actually talked until now. I'm not here to talk with you, Uncle. I'm here to demand your surrender. Then you'll walk away from this parlay disappointment. Disappointed. Did I teach you nothing, Kamea? The end game is not a time for is not is a time for negotiations, not demands. I remember your teachings well enough, Uncle. If 
our positions were reversed, you would attack me without hesitation or mercy. The founding house houses have rallied behind me. You are outnumbered and outgunned, and you have nowhere left to turn. And aside from a single hostage, you have nothing to negotiate with. A single hostage. He's your dearest friend. Surely he means nothing more to you than surely he means more to you than nothing. Alexander means a great great deal to me, but I would sacrifice any one person, even myself, for the good of the reach. You're defeated. Concede. I've heard your proposal, now hear mine. You will leave the system in my hands and solidify your power base out elsewhere. I will rule Cormadier, and I will hold your friend to ensure your good behavior. You will agree to those terms, or you will die. I will die. Your words are air, Uncle. You have nothing left to thread me with. Oh, so you believed when you moved on Castle Nautilus. I think that you're bluffing and I'm willing to wager my life on it. See on the field of battle. Yes, I suppose you will. Yeah, that's a little suspicious. Maybe he knows something that we don't. Perhaps, while my uncle holds Cormadier, he retains the illusion of legitimacy. And that is something I, will, I can no longer allow. The time has come to take it from him. Darius, raise the founding houses on the comms. Tell them that I'm ordering them to drop. All of our companies, our entire fleet, everything we have, as always, I'll lead from the front. We're taking Cormadier and we're doing it now. Ghost Wolf, I want you to remain at the ready until I call for you. Prepare. I need a sip of drink. One second. <clears throat> Prepare your mech warriors and wait for my signal. We're going to crush what remains of my uncle's directorate. With your company's help, I will retake the throne that was stolen from me. And come hell or high water, we will rescue Lord Madeira. I swear it on my father's name. Okay, Commander, you're not going to believe this. Commodore Oscard is inbound. Oh, I guess we're not done fighting my people yet. Okay. Okay, Grimface is joining around the co command console as Mary plots the course of the Iberia. It's inbound and doesn't look friendly. And there's another transmission. Let's put him on screen. Let's see what he has to say. The ramblings of a madman. Just pause this real quick. I'm letting this one play because I like this scene. business you and I. The Iberia still carries a full complement of battle mechs, plus enough firepower to level a city. And you know it's too late to withdraw your forces. When I reach Cormadir, I will drown your restoration in a sea of fire. Every dog in Arano colors will die. You took my son from me, Kamea. My hope for the future died with him! Now I'm killing yours. Well, someone's a little bit mad that the guy was an acceptable target because he was smuggling stuff. Anyway, let me get the music back up. Oh, boss, things are looking pretty grim, I gotta, I gotta say. But hey, at least we figured out what Espinosa's secret weapon is. Yeah, thanks for that ray of sunshine, Yang. Uh, did any of you see the walls, the wall behind Ostergaard? There were some burn marks, bullet holes, what looked like small arms fire. His sailors must have tried to seize the bridge. 
If there was a mutiny attempt up on the Iberia, it failed, and as unhinged as Ossigard may have sounded, he's right. We can't withdraw our troops, not without direct without the director cutting them to ribbons, and we can't stop a fortress class dropship. At least not through conventional means. Yeah. You're about to give us something give us an incredibly sketchy job, aren't you? I'm getting that feeling. Your instincts are sharp as ever, Ghost Wolf. You're about to bring down the Iberia. Um, how exactly? The Argo isn't, ac isn't actually a warship. She has doesn't even carry any weapons. No, but she is carrying something that can bring down a dropship. It very nearly destroyed the Argo, if memory serves. We're going to use the Lacura. <laughs> nuh -uh, no way. Lady Arado, that code completely screwed us at Castle Nautilus. It nearly detonated our fuel tanks. It's too dangerous to go tinkering around with. We can't. We don't have a choice, Suberi. It's the closest thing we have to a weapon that could destroy that ship. If I were wrong about this, Farah, um, Farah would have told us by now. Tell them, Doctor. We can do this, can't we? Yeah, um, I think we can. Even if it doesn't destroy the Iberia, it'll cripple her long enough to take her out of the fight. But that code is a science experiment, not a weapon. I think I can modify it into one, but there'll be risks involved, and I can't offer any guarantees. Okay, there's never any guarantees in this life, Doctor. Just do your best. I imagine you feel that way. I'll go ahead and get started. We're well, still going to need to need to um, need a way to get the code onto Oscar's ship. I suggest taking over a ground-based communications array, something on a network that the Iberia's computer that I, the Iberia's computer trusts. Okay, there's a director comm station on Laris, the Throne World Second Moon. It was the system's primary communications hub during my father's reign, and my uncle uses it for the same purpose now. You could transmit the Locura, then, then destroy it. The control tower is automated, so there shouldn't be any collateral damage. You'd be killing two birds with one stone. I like how you think. I'll break the explosives. No, Yang, please, no. You're just going to put it to an ammo dump again. Okay, we're likely to encounter, um, encounter heavy resistance, which we touched down. I can see if I can find an engineering solution to help us deal with it. Maybe my team could seize control of their turrets, make them fight for us for a change. You should probably try to bring a jump-capable lance if you want a commander. Comms arrays like the one on layers tend to be housed on elevated platforms with lots of ramps and choke points. Thank you, Doctor. We're hinging everything on this, pl this plan's success. It's vital that... Ostrakar's attention remains fixed on me and the Restoration Army, to the exclusion of your operation on Lyris. And so I'll give him something to focus on. I'm accelerating the offensive. We're marching on the Directorate's final stronghold, Cordia, Cordia City, the capital of Cormadir. Yeah, if anything will keep the focus on you, that will. We'll do our part. Just make sure to pay us. Anyway, damn right we'll... We will. We'll rendezvous with, with um, Leorano on Corbidir when the job is done. Got a job to do, people. And it'll be the biggest shells we've ever taken on. So put on your war faces and follow the commander's lead. We've got a dropship to crash. Come on, game. Have to wait for it to load. There we go. She one second. Let me just check. Yes, I did. But need these a bit, tiny bit. I'm going to need to get some... Wait, I have myself those LAMs. Come on, just let me swap. Okay, we're going to... 
Remove these for now. Actually, no, keep the Warhammer and Catapult. Hellion get there's a Hellion gets out. Longbow gets put in. And where are you? There you are, Harmony. Back into your mech you go. We're gonna need some jump capable mechs. Which I think I got rid of. <laughs> um. Let's go with. An, um, Glitch gets the Omni Mech. Um, Announcer gets. Uh, it has no jump jets. And you have no jump jets either, so. Okay, let's. Let's just make it the scorpion here. And let's get going. I know I've basically decided to go in with an overload of mechs here, but might as well make might as well make it so you have have to have to basic basically make it so the enemy has to think real hard <laughs> on what who to target. Yeah, of course. Sorry about any random freezing that happens. Oh, hello. What? Oh, in case you're wondering what that thing was next to me, that was basically the Discord avatar stuff that I have. Oop, wrong thing to click. I needed to, needed to disable that because didn't want it to pop up. And back to continue waiting on that. Also, turrets. We don't need turrets. We got. We basically we decided to take a leopard dropship, shove more mechs into it. And strap some on the outside with some tow cables.
do 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 have got a love having to wait on this. You know, maybe after the after the um, maybe next um, next week when we do Baltic Advance, I might take out a drop ship. And trust me, we're gonna need we're gonna have to do a whole bunch of maxing out Command stuff. Interface initiated. <laughs> Gotta love that text spam there. Oh. Oh, please don't do this to me. Okay, yeah, uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's get moving, Commander. Lady Arano is counting on us. I'm gonna reserve down to one. Now it's time for them to work their magic. My turn. <laughs> you have for for stuff not really that interesting Welcome to welcome to being a mech warrior. I'm ready. Let's move. Can't really fire at that. Let's fire at the vindicator. Lock and loading. Here it comes. Copy that. Ooh, that's a perfect target to hit. My opinion. Enjoy death Confirm. rays. And I just melt that guy's armor off 
In the, or say, in the torso area. My mech is overheating. Well, that's what you get for firing two death rays. Just have to wait for more for the Honestly I'm tempted just to blast the Oh, it's a rough neck. Oh god, I was sleeping. What do you want? As I was saying, I'm tempted just to oh, I don't like going blow up the, scary. the the turret control stations. Wow, he fell down like I do. Oh, they brought a Shrek PPC carry. It's all ogre now. <laughs> I know, old joke, but hey. So far, so good. What do you need, Commander? Let's get you into a good position. Right there. On the way, nice and slow. And that's the perfect target to go after. That roughneck. Taking the shot, Commander. Now it's time to take off. Roger, full speed. Let's let's take a bit of a risk. Fire a bunker buster to the rear arc. Fuck up. I think I hit something good. Oh, they took out a heat sink. That's good. I'm out of long range Ish. missiles. What's up, boss? This is one thing I do love about land air mechs. <laughs> Basically giving the terrain that the game has decided to set, decided to give you the middle finger. On the move, full speed. And let's take a risk with a bunker buster. The shot. 
and it missed. <laughs> I'm out of LRN. Bunny here. And time for the Irby Derby of the LAM's world. And here goes another Time one. To give him the thunder button. Well, at least those PPCs missed. Minimal damage on that hit. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Let's make some bad decisions at high speed. Hit one of our allies. The Atlas II. Well, if I remember correctly, um, they're gonna dr um, if I eliminate everyone else, they're gonna drop here. That LRM turret's not turret is not gonna be that useful. So let's fire everything. Adjustment coming right up. If they really cared about this facility, they'd have more than turrets. That is true, they have more of the turrets, they put in more mechs. But instead we decided to bring more mechs. Duncan Fisher they... here! Let's take a risk. Uh huh. Internal structure damage. That was the worst shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no rear armor left on that. Bunny here. Sprinting. Okay, who has... Oh, I, my mech does. Well, at least I got the rest of the facility lit up.
Duncan Fisher here. Heading that way. Something just went boom! A punctured lung, he'd be bleeding out and suffocating. Oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Just have you move. Let's go for this set of maps. Yes, you... Yes, you press all the buttons, Grandpa. Just don't do a, like a like just face roll the controls. Get it on. On the move. Let's fly into the back of that. Um, where's the ammo stored? That's my question. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm okay. They barely touched me. Ready for orders. Okay, next turn I'll turn off the avionics. But until then... I'll get lock on out of long range missiles. Standing by. Let's move here and hope that I don't get blasted Confirmed. in the rear arc. Turn off the death rays. Firing on target. Hey, watch the paint, pal. I hear ya. Affirmative. There, you now have a clear line of sight. Make sure to hit something. Oh, 
Oh, congratulations, you hit something. That's not an ally. Oh, that's okay, they have the same problem too. Oh god, they're, they're shooting me and I'm really scared. For real this time. Okay, what type of... Okay, it's a heavy shredder. I'm your spaniel. I'm walking here. Locked on target. That's okay. Whew. Thought for a second there was gonna hit that hit um hit Tex here. No, hit my Kodiak. Let's reserve it down. You got it, Commander. Waiting for the right moment. Yeah, it's time for that guy to hit the bricks. Let's make some bad decisions at high speed. What do you need, Commander? I should not have braced. Oh well. Good to go, boss. What type of engine do you have? Is I bet it's a standard. Yep, standard. But it's better to take out time to give him the thunder bunny. As much as I can. Okay, good. I took out its heavy hitter. <laughs> Sucks to be that guy. Powering down enemy turrets, Commander. Give us a moment. Oh, good. We'll modify their targeting protocols. Are 
you running away? Oh, nope. I'm just reserving everyone down to one. Let's see what happens. And for now for the... You son of the... There goes the garrison. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Let's make some bad decisions at high speed. Duncan Fisher here. Good to go. Awaiting orders. Affirmative. Ah, oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? What do you need, Commander? Because I know it's good. I'm going to need this in the long run. Brace. All right, I'll sit right here. Okay, Popo. Have you set up right here? Waiting for orders. And you set up here, um... On my way. Um, Shade? Sorry, couldn't think of your name there for a second. Even though it's on screen. Powering down enemy turrets, Commander. Give us a moment and we'll rewrite their targeting protocols. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Perfect. Duncan Fisher here. Okay. 
Heading that way. Just to break some cover up. Objective in sight. Oh, it's going down like a ton of bricks. Because I know where they're going to drop, there's going to be some cover with from these things. Oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Might as well make it difficult for them. Sometimes buildings fall down for no reason. So do I. <laughs> Commander? Um, hello? Okay, that was weird. Now let me double check sound on... I can hear my. So... Okay, it's back to normal. Ready for orders. Yeah, come on. Oh. Something's going on here. Target confirmed. Oh, we're got it. we have an error in the encoder here. There we go. Behave yourself. Stand by. Um. Well, it's because I'm out of building, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, so I'm stuck here for eight the second. Unless I do this. Careful maneuvers. Move order received. There, that's better. Waiting for orders. I know I'm basically destroying any cover I have, but... but what, what, what do you expect? I'm ready. Position confirmed. I'm gonna leave Tex and my clone here, just to cover us on the rear end. Okay, uh, Dr. Marlott's inside. 
should take a and little on that bit. Note, I'm going radio silent for a bit. I need to concentrate while I work on this. I'll be in touch soon. Commander, be advised. I'm seeing heavy activity on all Directorate comm channels. You're about to have company. Heading that way. You betcha. You're asking a lot of an old guy. No problem. On my way. All done, boss. Time for the Arano units to move. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me again. I forgot the ones that drop here. Well, I'm sort of glad that I got got that taken care of. Uh holding. No, 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 don't go away, you Is that a grasshopper? Heavy hits, Commander. Yep, that's a grasshopper. Go away. Reserve. Duncan Fisher here. Heading that Let's way. Try getting there. For a headshot. That would be cool if you got it. Lighting them up. And it's a whiff. Or is he most of a whiff? Bunny here. Hey, diddle diddle. The standard engine, if I remember correctly. Yep, standard engine. But is the R is ammo stored? Let's take a risk here. Firing. If we could hit it anyway. By the way. Um, if it goes past three hours, we're still going to play. Um, we're good because we're going to try to...
because I want to get this campaign done. Okay, I am impressed with you, or, um, you got Rifleman, you hear me? decide to get into melee range against a Marauder. Ah, oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Let's see, can we jump up on... Nope. Good ammo explosion. That takes care takes care of that one. that that's not good yes commander go into full throttle Lasers. Target lock on enemy's rear. Enemy down. And through and through. I'm starting to cook. Go ahead, reserve for now. I'm gonna have Glitch eject after this. See when it gets to her turn. I'm receiving you. Roger that. Let's go for a headshot on you. Firing all weapons. That's a kill. Ooh, ooh headshot. Nice, got ourselves a grasshopper. Okay, glitch. Commander? You're bleeding out. You're not having any good luck to today, so... Time to use the heat yeet seat. Time to go! Ejecting! Okay, it's... It's those NPCs' turns. Uh... Can't really do anything. Ready for orders. Not you either. Taking a protective stance. And harmony. Oh, it's perfect. Oh. Medium. Standard 
engine. Taking the shot, Commander. That's one more bad guy off the board. Brace. I'm on the clock. What do you want? Brace. Okay, Alpha Turts are online. And time to crack open a new drink. By the way, it's just soda. I don't I don't have any alcohol. Heading there. that way. Get that ro royal royal Moving warhammer out. there. Down you go. We. <laughs> You're fine there. All right, I'll sit right here. There. Move order. Over there. And now to wait for the wait for the Arano units to get done. Roger that. All right, I'll sit right here. All done, boss. Uh, any lore questions while we're waiting here for the next group of them? Group of, um, you know, group of enemies. Been. There's new enemies. And what do we have here? We got ourselves a warhammer and a guillotine. Thought there would be more. Good to go, boss. We reserve down to one here. Have them make the first move.
what type of entity do you have? Don't you know who I am? Standard, okay. And the guillotine has standard. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick bio break chat. Um, so give me one. So I'll be right back, everyone. And I'm back. Now, it's time for my turn here. Oh, uh, what's that? Heading that way. Lighting them up. <laughs> uh, just destroy the left and right torso. Right torso on it. Just make it a stick. Let's see if we can try to get the head. We hit the head and destroyed the torso at the same time. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh well. Give that guy a chance to... Um... Who did you land on? Please tell me Tex is still alive. Actually, after Good to this. Go, boss. Because if Tex, Tex is dead, I'm gonna be sad. Sometimes you gotta just protect them. Straight to the head.
I don't know if any of you knew this, but I like baking. I like cooking. Well, tonight, Dad decided to make a turkey. It's, um, it, not a whole turkey. It was basically two chicken breast, oh, not ch ch two chicken breasts, two turkey breasts on the carcass itself. No, no, um, wings or legs. I'm looking forward to taking that carcass and turning it into stock. Tomorrow, that is. If I did it tonight, I'd be having to get up periodically during the stream. Reporting. Minimal damage. Oh, uh, what's that? Lining them up. Kapow! Commander. Okay, I believe that's all the enemies, so... Come on. I go. Aye, aye. Copy that. Get everyone to the dropship. God, I was sleeping. What do you want? What do you need, Commander? Commander? Waiting for orders. Excuse me. Because just in case I need a mech. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. And now to wait. out of here. Moving to position. You're asking a lot of an old guy. On the way, nice and slow. Heading out. Confirmed. Holding.
Heading that way. Taking a protective stance. On the way, nice and slow. All done, boss. And one more round before we find out. Attention, forces of the Orano Restoration. This is Commodore Samuel Ostacart, formerly of the Concord Navy. As of today, I no longer serve my country. I come to you as a grieving father, not a Torian sailor. My actions are my own. In three minutes' time, my ship will enter weapons range of your position. At that time, your lives will come to an abrupt end. I suggest you pray to whatever gods you... <laughs> well, that's what you get. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Alright, we're out of time. Get those fighters are almost within weapons range. I need to come and get you now. Remote trigger armed, explosive primed. I'm ready. Meet me at the evac point and we'll get out to get the hell out of here. Mission successful. And we'll find out if Tex survived the crushing by Fara. Not Fara, by Sumere. Ah. Uh. If I lost Tex in this one, I'm going to be really angry. Okay, let's... Oh good, Tex is still alive. But boy, the <laughs> his mech is pancaked. He's not going to be in the final flight, unfortunately. At least I got, got the, um, the grasshopper. Couldn't think of the name of it for a second. And now to wait. Okay, well, I'm pausing the music real quick. The communications installation explodes behind you, and overhead, the Iberia begins to lose control. Let us say, did it work? Farad Elm asks nervously as the leopard lifts off. Sumeri so is to focus on shaking the pursuing aerospace fighters to pay. Uh, pay more than cur cur uh, cur cursory attention to anything else. Look outside and see for yourself. Well, let's look out the window. If the game will allow me, anyway.
how that will affect the trout population. Anyway, let me get the music back up and running again. Okay, back aboard the Argo, you find a lady around on the view screen in conference with her with their other commanders. From what you gather, the fight seemed to be bl a bloody one, but a grinding, but grinding towards victory. Okay, the challenge. Okay, the Iberia is gone, Uncle Ostergard can't help you now, and you have no more cards to play. For the good of our people, you must end this. Order your troops to stand down. Our people. That's what this has always been about, you know. Had you only listened to me, I would have never taken your throne. I didn't desire power for its own sake. My only care was for the reach, its prosperity, its enduring glory. Well, you turned it into a shithole, man. And yet you reach for that glory on the backs of our people. This thing that you built. It isn't who we are. Your directorate has fallen, Uncle. Clinging to it will not help the Reach. Uh, nothing will help the Reach. Not anymore. This war has doomed us all. The realm bleeds, Kamehameha. We're weaker now than we're, we've ever been, and soon enough the sharks will begin to circle. Okay. If that happens, Lady, Ar Lady Arata knows where to find... Where where to find knows where to find me. Just make sure to make sure to pay me money. <laughs> You're a talented mercy, Jameson Wheeler. I'll give you that. But can your company hold the off the full might of the compelling confederation or the Federated Sons? How about the Free Worlds League? With the with, when the knives fall on the Oregon Reach, you won't be able to protect it. Nobody will. Well, the Capellans I'll be able to fight, the Federated Sons I might be able to make, um, might be able to make a, cut a deal with, and we just have to wait a few, few minutes and they'll be, and the Free Worlds League will be fighting themselves again, because glory to Merrick. <laughs> okay, that's a problem for another day. The truth of the matter, Uncle, is that you only have one more decision to make. Will you surrender and save the lives of your soldiers, or will you allow your pride to condemn, condemn them? As I said, niece, this was never about me. Cormadier is yours. <laughs> oh, hello there, Victoria. No, Father, you can't do this. The Reach depends on the Director for survival, for glory. You told me that yourself, that, that if we fall, the realm will die. <laughs> Uh, the director has already fallen, Victoria. We've lost. Continuing to fight would only cost more lives. Cost lives? Cost lives? You ordered me to kill 11,000 people on perdition, and now you care about bloodshed? There's an ocean of blood on my hands, Father. I spilled it because you told me it was, n it was necessary. And it was, but our gambit has failed. It's over, Victoria. I know that's hard for you to accept, but you must stand down. Uh, no, Father, you may have gone craven, but I am Mechware. I will die before I concede defeat. You want this world to come in? Come and fight me for it. Your lands against mine, at the tourney crowns, the contest that was, deni that was denied us. You and me to the death for the Reach. Ah, great. Uh, are you tired of death yet, cousin? Was the Perdition Massacre not enough for you? I did that for the Reach. For our people, it was my responsibility. I didn't have a choice. But you don't understand. You never will. <laughs> and so I'll make things easy for you. You don't have to understand why I've done the th things I've done. You only need to face me in the arena, where I will best you, as I always have, as I was trained to do. You'll give me what I want, or your deal Alexander will pay the price. My father was too weak to kill him, but I am not. Accept my challenge, Kamea, or accept it, or I will grind him to, a, to pulp under my battle foot. Okay, I almost pity you. You'll have to... Have your fight, Victoria, and and yours will be the last blood I spill in this war. 
Prepare your mech warriors, Ghost Wolf. I, when I face my cousin in the arena, I want your company by my side. Wouldn't miss it for the world later, around. I'll be there. I, I'll see you when, the, when your land makes planetfall. Let's bring this war to a close. Yeah, first let me do a little bit of repair work. <laughs> I want my I want my mix in top condition. Oh please! Oh, can't, I can't go back. Damn it! Okay. Move you over. Actually, no. Let's. If we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this right. The Hyperion Keats. See, you get the Keats. I'll um. Uh, this Matar goes to announcer. Um, I'll take the monster two eighty five. Damn. Okay, let's and still too much. Dang, dang it. I will you monster, and that leaves me with not a whole lot. Okay, yeah, let's go with yeah, let's go with the go with the monster, the matar. And put myself in the monster. And I got about 75, I believe. Yeah. Let's go with an Annihilator 2. Usually with the Annihilator 2 and announce there's a hand. And Duncan Fisher gets to pilot it. Meanwhile, Tex is laid up at the in the infirmary. Okay. Oh. Got a whole No wonder I couldn't do that. I had a whole bunch of other mechs. Clear everyone else out. Okay. The the might of the super heavies. <laughs> and Grandpa gets the other Matar. Which, if, if I... Yep, it has all that on it. There we go. Because why not just just outton everything? Because again, it'll be funny. <laughs>
Ow! Dang, dang hair getting caught in my headset. Do 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 do. Command interface initiated. Okay, incoming transmission. Okay, Victoria, I need you to listen to me. The directorate has fallen. Our armies have been routed, even as I speak. Rest even as I speak, restoration forces are closing in on Cordia City. If you kill your cousin now, the entire reach will fall into anarchy. Well, that is true. And if Kamea we wins, the Reach is doomed anyway. You've been telling me that for years now. Was it all a lie, Father? <laughs> okay, Victoria, this is not a time for debate. You will tend to my words and obey me, as you always have. I order you to stand down for the good of the Reach. Uh, the Directorate is the Reach, Father. I will never stop fighting for it. While in your cowardice, I will win this war in spite of you. Oh, great. She's got the line. You're gonna have to put it on the ground later, Lady Arano. She's too far gone for this to end any other way. If that's her choice, then so be it. I'll do whatever I must to save Lord Madeira. Madeira, fallen on me, Beck Warriors. We have one more wrong to right. Oh god, I was sleeping. Oh great, what you do you got want? you spawned up there. Onward. Heading that way. There, down on the ground. It took you long enough, Kamei. I was beginning to wonder if you'd turn tail and run. It would have been the would it have been the first time. I'm here for you, Victoria, and the justice of House Horado rides with me. How poetic. I have no justice for you, Kamea. No flowery words, only pain and death and humiliation with Lord Madeira, Madeira as your wit as your audience. Let him go, Victoria, now. Quit wasting your breath. We've both waited for this long enough. Come to me, cousin. Let's finish this. Surf down to one. Um, you still can't move. Another bit of careful maneuvers. Oh, I don't like going fast. It's scary. Come closer, dear cousin. Come closer. Let's go with this mech right now. Sensor lock. Mauler 2K. And what do you have on board? A whole bunch of missiles. I live to serve. Uh, turn off that medium laser. Don't really need it right this second. Oh, 
Okay, you have rotary medium lasers, two rotary medium lasers, a static ER medium laser, and a haywire medium laser. Great. That's really adequate. Duncan Fisher here. Again, medium laser goes off. Okay, what type of engine? Just standard. Oh, compact. Can't really understand why. Yes, I hear you. Copy that. I'll do what you ask. Pierced through the armor. For the Oregon people. Okay, what do you, what's this? I, because I did... Warhammer 7M. That's really adequate. <laughs> Full throttle. Meanwhile, Well, you're going to be enjoying Mercies and Atom Smashers. Engaging target. Enemy mech destroyed. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. And those explosions. Gotta love Send them. Send your landmates to me, Kamea. And watch. I see you pierce through the pierce through the Great armor. Order. Roger that. Let's correct that. You've got it, Commander. One less target. Duncan Fisher here. Heading that way. What do we have? Oh, it's a Mackie. Let's see if we can try to go for a headshot. Lighting them up. Ah, oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Sorry about that. Fast. It's scary. Okay, which side has those? Let's go for the... Turn off the mercies. Fire the death rays. The little machine that is says how hot it is Ooh. looks very mad. Isn't that just lovely? Copy that. Oh god, why does everything hurt so much? Copy that. Good. 
Inflicting heavy damage. There goes all that. Oh, there's a most of the weapons. Fire and steel. Of course you're gonna run. Let's reserve down to one here. Just make it three and engaging target. Yes, headshot destroyed. Got ourselves a Mackie. Reading loud and clear, taking her to top speed. Lasers. Actually, no, keep them on. I'm in the middle of some water. Confirm. Duncan Fisher here. Heading that way. God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Uh, it just breaks. You're as much of a victim as you are a murderer, Victoria. Your father raised you to kill in his name. And you are a fool. You, your father raised you to believe you were so, the hero of some ridiculous fairy tale, and you still believe it even, even now. I don't know what I believe anymore, but this madness must end. And if you won't stop it, I will. Tell me what you need. For justice. For the restoration. And just because I'd rather have the money. Oh, you're somehow still alive. Um... I'm coming for you, cousin. The Directorate dies today. All this death, <coughs> the coup, perdition, mastiff, all of it, for nothing. It was always for nothing, Victoria. The Directorate was never going to return, be the return to glory that your father promised. I know, cousin. I... I know. Our fathers lied to us. There's no future for the Reese. <coughs> you are the hero of nothing, cousin. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Victoria. You left me no choice. But make no mistake. Justice has been served here today. I am the Sword of Restoration. And Cormadir is free. 
Mission successful. Okay, we're going to finish this up and then we'll end the stream. And while I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the game to get everything all taken care of. We'll take a look at who to raid. Okay, got our, everything done, got ourselves a nice big payout. Everyone's all right, more or less. I'll take the Mackie, the parts to that mauler. And we get most of everything. Got most of everything here. Okay, I got it. Out who we're going to raid after this. Okay, Victoria's dead commander and Cormadier is ours. Okay, over the next few days and a few years, promise, promise to be busy for um, Kamea Arano and all her supporters. So you are, of course, invited to our coronation and given a position of honor during the ceremony. And over a sea of blood, here we are. <laughs> I began this restoration because my birthright was stolen, and I wanted it back. Not for the people of the Reach, but because it was mine. I wanted war for all the wrong reasons. But on Weldry, I traded that naivete for nobler purpose. Seeing my people suffering with my own eyes, taught me why I must fight. On Artru, I found humility. Blinded by righteousness, I was reckless in my pursuit of power, and it almost cost us the war. On Galdra, I learned to steal my heart. I chose necessity over conscience, a choice that nearly broke me. Finally, on Koromadir, the world of my birth, I found resolve, and standing over my cousin's broken body, victory. Only through these lessons paid for in blood did I become a ruler worthy of title? A High Lady prepared to sit the Cormorant throne, the protector of Cormadir, the Sword of Restoration. But this question still plagues me. Am I a hero? Did I sacrifice too much at the altar of victory? Do my triumphs outweigh my mistakes? War is a clash between conscience and necessity. An ocean of chaos and bloody compromise. Or in my case, War shapes money. history. <laughs> and history chooses its heroes.
As for you, mercenary, you made the liberation of the Oregon Reach a reality. No, you did because you the paid me trial money. I faced would have been my last without your skill on the battlefield. You paid for it. You got it. I still don't know if you fought for honor. Nope. Or for the thrill of it. Nope. For belief in my cause nope. or just my money. Just your money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Oh, I'm no hero. You just pay me. And you know what? It doesn't matter if you believe it. Because others do. As I believed in the heroes of my father's stories. After all, when we are gone, stories are what remain. Okay, you gather aboard the Argo one last time to discuss events, Lord Madeira, and later on around the view screen, and newly, as the newly crowned ruler of a dozen worlds, she can't spare the time to visit you in person anymore. Finally, you're off my ship! Okay, Jameson, Darius, Sereri, Yang, Farah, through your courage and skill and sacrifice, the Reach has been saved, I have reclaimed my throne. Without any, of, any one of you, our campaign would have ended in tragedy. I cannot adequately repay you for for your service to the Reach. Oh yes you can, pay me money. I owe you a great debt as well. Without your company's help I would be dead. I consider it a great honor to call you my friends. Okay. If you ever get tired of politics, you're always wel welcome on my crew. Just, we'll pay you a fair wage. <laughs> A compelling offer, Commander Wheeler. I'll keep it in mind. This is a new era for the Reach, and I have your company to thank for it. The Director has fallen, Victoria is dead, and my uncle is in chains. Eh, you should have just let me kill him. <laughs> the thought had crossed my mind, but Lord Madeira convinced me otherwise. With the Reach in a fragile estate as it is, we can't risk making a martyr out of him. Don't worry, he'll receive his taste of justice soon enough. Soon enough. Considering my curiosity peaked, what did you do with him? Please tell me you spaced him. Okay, we handed it over to Protector Thomas Calderon. Um, try, he, try, um, to be tried as the mastermind of the Perdition Massacre. His war crimes tribunal is being assembled as we speak. The Torians were quite appreciative of this, of the jester. Yeah, he's going to be lied up against the wall and hit with shotguns. Use a target practice for shotguns, because that's what you get when you in the periphery. A nice big shotgun to the face. Um, if you decide to poke around and find out. Okay, I'm sure they were, and that's the last we'll hear of Director Espinoza. Okay, he bought brought his fate upon himself. I'm afraid that our time is growing short, Ghost Wolf. We have a great deal of work to do if we're going to recover from this war. But if you have any final questions before we move on to the subject of our pay, I'll be happy to hear them. The subject of our pay, huh? As it happens, I can think of nothing I'd rather talk about. Very good, Ghost Wolf. You certainly earned it. For your ex exemplary work both on and off the battlefield, you'll be paid handsomely. Those were the terms of our arrangement, but you deserve a little more than that, and I think... The second token of my appreciation is on its way to your mech bay right now, Ghost Wolf. Please accept it with my compliments. Thank you, Kamei. We'll put your gifts to good use. Uh, and also, I don't get overpaid, paid my, by, overpaid by my clients. I could get used to it. <laughs> I'm sure you could, and with that, Ghost Wolf, I'm afraid I must return to the Master of State. My people need me, and I must get back to helping where I can. You will always be remembered as friends of the Reach, every one of you. Okay. We'll see you again someday, I'm sure. I like that. Till then, I bid you a fond farewell, very fond farewell. Be well, Ghost Wolf. I wish you success in your adventures to come. 
guess that's it. Our contract with Lady Arana is over, the restoration is complete, and we've, we're free to do whatever we please. Man, it feels weird saying this, but we can do whatever we want, and we're not beholden to anybody. It's a pretty sweet feeling, I gotta say. So, who else wanna fight? Oh, go find some new trouble to get into. Peacetime is beautiful and all, but it's starting to feel a little stale in here. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm game if you are. Trouble is our business. After all, we've got, we got more than enough battle mix to handle whatever fate throws at us. I don't know about the rest of you, everybody, but I'm in the mood to earn some, earn a few sea bills. <laughs> After that, Jameson, you all heard the commander. Take your stations and make it quick. We got an open sky ahead of us, and there's money to be made. And what do we get? Cash payment, ERPPCs, a whole bunch of mag shots, expulses, expulses, bombast. Ooh! They. An Atlas 2! Um. Omeo's modification to a. To, um. That mech you wanted is back online. To it. And. The one arc goes to storage. Come on, go to storage. Okay, while it does that, it's time to end the stream. Anyway, I think you'll for let me get the music also going because I can't have it be silent. I thank you all for tuning in. Um for those who liked what what I was streaming. I have a schedule, as you can see, um, in chat. I stream on Fr Macquarie Online Fridays, and game on Sundays, and Battletech Fans 362 on Mondays. And of course, all of it starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have a Twitter account. Link is in the chat, of course. Um, so Basically, I, whenever I go live, I post there, or whatever, I have some random thoughts that go across my head at that time. And I also have a Discord channel. Link is in the chat, of course. Again, I thank you all for tuning in. Please, stay safe out there, everyone. And now, we're going to go raid someone. And here we go. Again, I thank you all for tuning in. Please stay safe out there. Bye, everybody.